oh, I'm just relaxing by the pool in my, in my freely little top. This whole wardrobe is like date ready. It is quite a bit. People pass these up like. Hey everyone, it is Daria here and if you're new, welcome to my channel and if you're a little bit more familiar, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you here and to share with you today's video. As you can tell by the title, I have a pretty massive Goodwill haul for you guys and y'all, I've been wanting to do a video like this for so long now and I finally took the plunge and went to the Goodwill outlets and I got so much stuff in two trips and I'm just... I'm just really excited to show you guys what I got. If you don't know much about Goodwill outlets, it's basically where all the things that weren't sold in the Goodwill stores, the shoes, the clothes, the books, they're all sent to these outlets and everything is like put in a bin, you dig through it, but the key here is everything is sold by the pound. I got everything for $30. Like. And those two trips, I got everything for actually less than $30. And so, again, like, Goodwill Outlets, great place if you're starting over from scratch. Honestly, you're really going to believe me. I, I know it's hard to believe, but you're really going to believe me when you see everything that I got. So just sit back and relax. Pretend like we're two friends hanging out in my room. And I'm just, like, showing you all the things that I got from my latest haul. Let's hang out and let me go ahead and give you this video. <laughs> And the weather that we have going on right now, especially where I live, where it's super hot and humid, I feel like this is a very, very nice, like, elevated basic. Something that I can wear with so many different pieces. Um, the color goes well with a lot of the colors that I already have in my closet. It's very flirty. It's very cute. As you'll see, a lot of the things that I got here are very, like, more flirty and romantic. That was, like, the vibe that I was going for when I was going to the thrift store. So yeah, this very first thing that I want to show you is this really cute bralette. I'm so excited to style it in different ways and play with it. So this top, I will be honest, I am a little bit on the fence about. Um, because it is a button-up and I typically don't do too well with button-ups because I am... I don't know, I feel like it's because I am bigger chested, but like essentially I always get this kind of like space that happens with my button-ups. But... I do think that's something that I can kind of play around with because of the color. If I just have like on a like a really cute bralette underneath. This is the top. Again, it's just like really comfortable, really cozy and relaxing. And it's breezy. Like if I had to wear this outside, I wouldn't feel like so hammered down because it's so lightweight. This is a top that I can definitely see myself wearing more as like more of a shawl cover up um i did try it with the buttons buttoned up and i wasn't crazy about the look but just wearing it like this honestly i've already worn this twice out since i got it so i know this is something that i would definitely wear a lot these sleeves are just so cute so romantic so flirty so just like oh i'm just relaxing by the pool <laughs> In my freely little top uh, let's see let's see what it looks like kind of buttoned up a little bit I know I don't want it all the way buttoned up so that's kind of where you get first of all I don't I personally don't really like that style but also that's where I get the most of the, like the gap it's in my like chest area but honestly I didn't think I would like it with any buttons I thought I would only have to wear this as like a cover-up but this could be a shirt wow and it's so <sighs> do you see the color hopefully the lighting isn't like really throwing you off too much but it's like this mint green color <laughs> wow okay look at this top mm. y'all Y'all let me know how y'all feel about shoulder pads. This one does have shoulder pads in it. And I didn't think I would like it. And then I tried it on. And I was like, wow. I actually really, really like this. Okay, this color. I used to have this color a lot in my closet growing up. And so it's bringing back memories. I love this like paneling detail on it. It has a little bit of structure. 
I want to know in the comments, like, would you guys take the shoulder pads out? I don't have a lot of clothes that I wear with shoulder pads, but this, I think I'm going to keep the shoulder pads in. <laughs> it's just really pretty. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the tops. Now we can get into the dresses. Oof. So this dress right here, I thought that the very first piece I showed you was my favorite, like, favorite piece that I got from these two hauls. And then I was a little conflicted because I just tried on the green top and button of the bottom. And I was like, ooh, like this might be one of my favorites. But originally this was also a top contender for one of my favorites. It's this cute little dress. It's very flirty. It has a lot of like ruffling details here in the dress and also more so in this paneling area down here. It's so like I can like I can spin around in it. <laughs> I can jump in it. Well, maybe not too much, but um, <laughs> I can do, I just think it's really, really flirty, really cute, very much like ready to go on a date in this dress and I can just slip it on, it's something that I don't really have to think about. So this dress is also very, very flirty. It has, again, a lot of ruffle details. It's gingham. I do not have any gingham in my closet, I don't think at all. So it's nice to play with these patterns. I've been wanting to play with patterns for a long time now. And I think these more smaller patterns are a really great way to like get into it. It gives me a lot more coverage where the last dress had a very, very deep V. And this one, you know, you're not getting a lot of cleavage action, but it is just a very, very pretty dress. And again, I've also worn this and the last dress um, out and about already before doing this haul and I felt so cute in it I feel so cute in this dress like I'm ready to like take on the world in this dress I really really do like it okay talk about your flirty dresses okay this dress <sighs> girl it is so freaking cute okay it has this slit in it like, okay, I'm gonna change the angle here because everything else is pretty much bottom. So this dress here has a slit at the bottom and it also has a slip underneath. This is a belt that I was gonna show you guys a little bit later when I got to the accessories portion, but honestly, I need y'all to see this vision right here. Like, what? Very flirty, very romantic. <laughs> This whole wardrobe is like date ready, okay? And so that's all we have for dresses. Let's go into the bottoms. This skirt we've already seen in the haul, but I just wanted to give it its own little moment here. It has this paneling and I can like twirl around in it. It's very loose and very comfortable. It does have some distressing at the bottom but I think that it would be really fun for me to continue trying to distress it even more. I like things that just have movement to it. Moving on, we have this skirt here. It does have a lot of the, this floral pattern. It's just, it's again, like an elevated basic in my opinion. Moving on, I do have this skirt for you here. This is the pattern detail. Look at that, so decadent. It has a zipper in the back. It also has a slip. And it has this nice fringing detail. And yeah, I don't, I don't think you can see that in that last clip, but it has this detail at the bottom. This is what the bottom of it looks like. I saw this skirt and I was like, I can't imagine the number of people who saw this skirt and passed it up. Like, OMG, I'm so excited to style this. It has some really fun movement to it. I almost did not take these pants. And then I see it with this top and I'm like, ooh, like I'm really glad that I have it because first of all, I actually don't have 
a lot of pants that I feel like I can wear in summer right now. I feel like I actually have not worn any pants this summer and this actually feels like a pair of pants that I can wear. And finally, these are the last pair of pants that I have for you. A nice staple that has been missing from my closet. They have pockets. You can never go wrong with anything that has pockets. You can tie it here at the top so it can fit to your liking. It has pockets here, but it also has pockets. Is this a working pocket? Yeah. I really like this color. I like it a lot with this top here that I have on now. Okay, now let's move on to the accessories that I got. <laughs> it is quite a bit, um, but they're all very, very, very cute. So, let's start. The first thing that I got was that was actually hanging up and I took it down in between like one of the clips was this red bag. It has these pockets here. And a pocket here. We love her. Very cute. Excited to use her. So segueing into the shoes. Um, this is the first pair that I want to share with you guys. These sandals. Um, I didn't have a lot of sandals that I could wear with a lot of my outfits. And I think that this pair right here is just going to be a really nice addition. This color brown goes well with a lot of the clothes that I picked out um, at the outlets. And a lot of the clothes that I already have in my closet. They have a cushion here. So they're very like comfortable. Comfortable to walk around in. So I got into a situation while I was at the thrift store and picked out two pairs of shoes that were very, very similar. And I tried them both on and essentially like I couldn't tell which one I liked more. And that's because one of these pairs are actually a lot more comfortable than the other pair. But I'm really hoping the pair that is not as comfortable, I can like break in a little bit. We're going to see. But to show you again, these are a pair of sandals, but they have a heel on them talk about flirty I do like things with heels so I'm excited to style these obviously and then very pretty similar to that but I feel like these were the more more of a challenge and I think these are the ones that I liked better but I'm uh, maybe I can break them in a little bit more but these shoes look at that chunky wedge they're so cute oh my gosh yeah and then another pair of shoe that I got which I basically this has become my everyday shoe because I typically wear like my Doc Martens all the time and I just wanted something that wasn't them <laughs> so that I could switch it up a little bit and I found these shoes and again, these have become like my everyday shoes. I've worn my docks like one time since getting these shoes. But I like that it has this like um, wedge on them. They are like maybe calf length. Um, and they're very cute, very, very comfortable. And these shoes here, I think these, this this pair of shoes might, might be actually my favorite um, find. And they're these look at the detail these are statement boots these are statement boots okay look at this beautiful pattern they're like and to find them at an outlet store where people pass these up like uh, how dare you no I'm, I'm just kidding but they are they are very very cute okay so that's it for the shoes and I just have two more things to show you this first hat here actually I didn't try them on in the store because that's just like one of those lines that I just didn't want to cross I wasn't able to wash it and also I have my afro going on so it wasn't gonna fit over my head but now we can kind of see how it fits all right well it fits and it's so cute <laughs> wait oh maybe this is my favorite find look at this hat oh my god 
it's so cute this one I got simply because it reminded me of a friend that I had in college that I was very very close with it's whimsical and I'll just show you it's whimsical I don't have a lot of stuff this style but I feel like I could build some things around this hat because it's different but it is also also very cute likes a little girly like let's go to a tea party kind of hat yeah I like it like that but yeah Woo. all right again that was a pretty lengthy pretty massive haul if you are still here hanging out with me thank you so much for doing that i hope you enjoyed this haul i hope it inspired you to check out your local goodwill bin outlet um, and see what you can find honestly like there's so many treasures out there when it comes to clothing like secondhand clothing especially that i would be surprised if you didn't find anything at all um i have to say it does take some time it does take some digging and some inspiration and the will to find some clothes but i'm gonna go ahead and close out this video thank you so much for watching if you're new here um and you aren't a subscriber yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button or at least that like button. Um, it really does help me out. And yeah, I think that's all I'm going to say here. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And bye-bye. <laughs>